Uh, welcome everybody. This is Vespers for Thursday evening, the 27th of August. Uh, tonight is going to be a little bit different. I've invited my colleagues along and we're going to share with you our favourite either prayers or readings and a little bit about why they are our favourites. And it's not going to be a very long service, but it is going to be um, a deeply theological one, which is something we're not known for. But we'll do this. I'm going to go first and I'm going to use what's called the serenity prayer. You've probably heard it. It's called the serenity prayer. You may not know where it comes from or a little bit of its history. A chap called Reinhold Niebuhr uh, wrote this prayer in about 1932. He and his brother were both theologians um, and he was an absolute amazing guy around uh, ethics, especially situational ethics. And when I was studying, he was one of the guys that was my fallback person. Uh, absolutely amazing. Those of you who've been through Alcoholics Anonymous, I'm not saying that's many of you, but you will probably know this prayer as they have adopted it uh, in certain parts of the world in their 12-step program. But it's a really, really lovely prayer. It's a very straightforward prayer, and it's longer than we know it. We know the first part of it, and then there's an extra little bit at the end. Um, so Reinhold Niebuhr, his version that has been condensed is, you know, God, give me the grace to accept the serenity, sorry, to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed, courage to change the things which should be changed and the wisdom to distinguish the one from the other. We know that or a version thereof. There's also another bit at the bottom, which we don't know so well, which is absolutely sensational. So I'm going to ask you, if you would, uh, to join me in prayer for, for, for Reinhold Niebuhr's serenity prayer. God, give me the grace to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed, courage to change the things which should be changed, and the wisdom to distinguish the one from the other. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking, as Jesus did, this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it. Trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will. So that I, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. So that's mine. That's Reinhold Niebuhr's serenity prayer. I'm going to pass on to, uh, I can't remember who I said, Bubba, let's go with you. Thanks for that, Sean. I like that. I wasn't aware there was a second part, so thank mm. you. My, my um, prayer tonight uh, has just become a favourite because of a book that I'm reading. And the reason it's a favourite is because we often think that God's not in the darkness. We often think that we need to scurry off and try and find God elsewhere. So this is called God of the Darkness. God of Darkness, you must be the God of Darkness. Because if you are not, who else can we turn to? Turn to us now. Turn to us. Turn your face to us because it is dark here and we are in need. We are people in need. We can barely remember our own truth. And if you too have forgotten, then we are out. We are, with, we are without a hope of a map. Turn to us now. Turn to us. Turn your face to us. Because you turn towards us in the body of the incarnation, you turn towards us. Amen. Mm -hmm. I like that. Well, that's good. I like that. I really like that. Mm. Uh, Sarah, can you give us your little bit, please? Absolutely. And Bubba, I really recommend that you pick up Learning to Walk in the Dark by Barbara Taylor, Barbara Taylor Brown. Um, it's all about how the darkness is... Uh, is misrepresented in a lot of ways and the way that we find God there. It's very good. Um, Thank you. My, my, uh, my go-to is falsely attributed to St. Francis of Assisi, but it is one of those that I like a lot because it uses the word creation and that's not the only reason I like it, but one of the verses in the Bible is go forth into the world and preach the gospel to all the nations. And then another version of the same, one of them's Matthew, one of them's Mark. And I always have a hard time remembering which is which is go forth into the world and preach the gospel to all creation. 
and and I love that part of it. And so when St. Francis of Assisi so posedly said, preach the gospel at all times and when necessary, use words. To me, that really sums up who and what and how we are supposed to be in the world. It's not that we're supposed to go to certain people or certain nations or certain religions. It's about the entire world that surrounds us. And so all of our actions, gardening, cooking, hugging a child when we're allowed, and you know, all of these things are ways of preaching the gospel. So for me, that has always been my go-to verse that, that recenters me and, and sort of brings me home. We've actually got that in the back of the church. We've actually got the poster of it. Um, it's hidden at the minute. It's be, I think it's behind the pew, behind the pulpit, but it's down there. Go into, the, go into, the, go into all the world and, and preach the gospel and when necessary, That's use words. Use words, yeah. That's the, if, I could, if I could pick any verse that I put up into the St. David's Hall Godly Playroom, that will be the one. Cool. Excellent. Well, thank you, colleagues. Um, I've enjoyed that. A little bit of an insight there. Um, thank you for watching. I know it's not particularly long this Vespers, but it is uh, heartfelt and deeply theological, which is something that we're not all the time. Yes, uh, and so. remember, theological just means talking about God. So we got that one tonight. Oh, we got that one covered. <laughs> we got that one covered. So thank you both very much indeed. I appreciate that for, for helping me out with my Vespers for tonight. Um, please feel free to call on each other to help with your Vespers, but just leave me alone. Um, that's about all we've got. Thank you very much indeed. And thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.